white dude number they, two when the come dude, When the white dude number two come in, little young dude, Booty Bob couldn't, he was beside himself. He was at it. Boy, he, he couldn't, oh, man, I guess, you know what I'm saying? He was sweating bullets. He would, you know, get off from honey buns and off from stuff to eat and <laughs> try to talk to him. And he kept propositioning them, and they kept turning them down, telling them, man, stop, leave us alone. We ain't like that. Man, stop, leave us alone. We ain't like that. But now Booty Bob didn't want to hit it. Booty Bob wasn't trying to hit that. All Booty Bob know is that he wanted to get it then. Yeah, it's your boy Big Laz, aka Big ODL, man. Um, today we have a reaction video. You feel me? Um, I want to give a shout out to the creator. I'm actually reacting to his video. His name is Cartoon Fifty Three. Uh, he's an OG. He was locked up for a set amount of time or whatever, and his story is about a notorious booty bandit that got killed in prison. And I, I was intrigued. I'm not gonna lie, I was intrigued. I have a lot of friends who've been locked up and I love listening to their stories. One thing I can say, I like hearing prison stories and I like hearing military stories. Make sure you go follow him. His, he actually has good ass content, you feel me? So make sure y'all go follow him. Look at the rest of his videos. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel. And um, you know, OG, you did your time. And, uh, solid brother, man. This is, uh, about a dude getting killed in the Alabama prison system. Um, he was a notorious, man, notorious booty bandit. And, um, I'm talking about, man, he used to pray. He used to pray on them white boys some serious. Boy, he prayed on them some serious. And, um, you know, I used to just look at him sometimes and just wonder. I said, man, what, you know, what's, go what's going through this cat here head? You know what I'm saying? Um. That thing, you know, you, I didn't see it like that in the California prison system. That type of get out, you know, it happens. True enough, yeah, it does happen, but it don't happen to the point like it do in Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they be on it. They serious about it. I'm going to pause this. I've been to Alabama twice, right? The first time I've been to Alabama is my first time, like, really experiencing racism. Now, mind you, it's racist people in Georgia, too. But, like, basically, um, we stopped at some place. I think it's called Coleman or something like that. And we walked into the Waffle House. And, bro, nigga, like, the the way the motherfuckers turned around, is like, oh, y'all, oh, y'all niggas lost? Like, bro, and then when I called my man, I was like, yo, bro, um, I'm about to put gas in the car. We sitting to stop at Waffle House. He's like, oh, where y'all at? I'm like, yo, it's some place called Coleman. He's like, yo, get in y'all car right now. Get in your car right now. I'm like, what you mean? So basically, Coleman is like a sundown town. And this this happened in like 2018. So for me to hear that it's a booty bandit preying on white boys in Alabama, that's, I don't know, it's kind of weird, bro. Because I'm telling you, son, some of them white folks in Alabama, like you feel that energy, like, say something, say something, cool, we're going to string you up on this tree. That was my experience. Just, just throwing that out. That was my experience. They serious about it, you know. So anyway, I'm going to tell this quick story real quick about what happened to one of the most notorious booty bandits in the Alabama State Prison. They say um, that shit like that nigga was Robin Hood, um, huh? We were in West Jefferson Prison. And uh, West Jefferson Prison, that's their most maximum security prison. And so... Um, he had been running around. He was, he was there. He was there. I see him all the time. I didn't really pay a lot of attention to him. You know what I'm saying? From I, I did, but I didn't. I, you know, I used to watch him from a distance because, you know what I'm saying, he used to just run around. He was always on the same thing, the same thing with him. You know, uh, new white boys would get off the chain, and they would come to the block, and um, they was on it. This dude, he knew, look, he was so serious that he knew what day, the chain, the certain chains came in from certain county jails, from certain areas of the, of the state. Oh, that's foul. And he would, uh, he would leave, he would leave out the block and go all the way to the south side of the prison. The south side of the prison was, um, where the dorm living was. They had dorm living out there, and the, and it was out there by the, in the, the yard around the dorm. If you could just walk the yard, you can go to the edge of the gate, and that where the main, where the main back gate would open up to let the vans in for um, new, 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 new coming inmates. So they would come in at the back gate. <clears throat> they would let everybody off the van in the gate. You could stand at the, you could stand at this gate on this side 
and you can see over into, you know, who always getting off the van. A lot of dudes should go over there, see their homeboys getting off the van, you know what I'm saying, holler, well, what's up, what's up, or whatever. Then you had the then you had the stalking crew. You had the stalkers. You know. You That's why I ain't never been to prison. Now, I've been locked. I mean, I'm saying I, I've been locked up, but like I ain't never been to prison, prison, bro. I, I, you feel me? I'd have been to bookings. I spent about one night in the cell type shit, but I ain't never been. Whoo, nigga, what? Y'all seen the Boondocks? <laughs> Y'all seen the Boondocks, bro? You know what they was talking. So anyway, they would um, they would start picking and choosing at the gate. You know what I'm saying? If they seen what they liked or what they wanted. They would, you know, niggas was window shopping. Try to dudes and you know see, you know they 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 started early. They wouldn't even give you time to get into prison. Oh. They start singing you out early. And this cat here, I'm not gonna say his name. He was a professional with it. He, I'm talking about he. Mm, he would go down through there. Hold on, oh man, hold on. He would go down through there. What the hell Every was that? What did he, he just got, do? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it was like a job with him. He wouldn't stop. He, would, he You know, he wasn't going to be stopped. It was just like a job to him. And so anyway, boom. They, I guess they out there, they would do their thing or whatever. So when um they would come in. Hold on. Somebody come in. Wait, wait. You all right? Okay. <clears throat> And my wife, y'all, she's just getting off work. <clears throat> anyway, so one day, typical day, and you know, same day in the dorm, all this, all this. So when they would do, when they would go out to the gate and they would see who they was looking for, boom, they'd run back to the block. Now, there's a cold little system they had. They would come back to the block and they would tell the rest of the bandits, hey, look, I seen a dude coming in. He looked like this. He looked like whoop, 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 and wop, wop, wop. This nigga knows he trying to make sure he trying to make sure wifey good. That's some real shit, hey. Baby. He trying to make window. sure wifey good. <laughs> okay. She opening up the window for me. No, when they ain't what? Well, look, I got the. If you open up the window, the alarm. If you open up the front door, the alarm gonna go off. If you open up the back door, the alarm will go off. If you open up a window, the alarms will go off. It will tell you the window opening, the back door, the front door. And she had the window doing something. She, she just walked in from work. Somewhere sit down. Yeah. Hey, hey, bro. Anyway, hey. back to the story. I know. I know your pain. So what they would do. I know your pain, bro. They'd run back down the hallway. Now, they would either pay the um the whatever inmate that was working in the shift office, the main shift office, to get whoever they was looking for sit down to the unit that they wanted them sit down to. Oh. Get them sit to whatever block they was in. If they was in two block, they'd go ahead and pay with the coffees. Man, I want this dude. He looked like this. He looked like that. I want him sit to two block, a four block, or one block. Whatever block that they was in that they wanted them sit to, they would go ahead and pay the dude now. Because the inmates was the ones who really did all the paperwork for real, for real. So anyway, then when they do that, they would run back down yeah, that's to the foul. um they would come back down that's foul. to the unit that they was in and they tell all the rest of the booty bandits, look, uh, it's a dude coming through white boy coming through the door. He looked like this, he looked like that. He belonged to me. I already paid for him. I'm letting y'all know now. Don't you know ain't nobody need to come, do say nothing, do nothing, anything, mm -hmm. anything like that. <laughs> so now, you know, that was a thing. They knew how it went. They, all the booty banners respected the rules of the booty banners. Okay. Now, they didn't ever try no black dudes like that. They didn't work like that with the blacks. They would only try the white boys like that. So anyway. That's that's foul, bro. If you've got the Airbnb app on your phone, you're already halfway into six figures and semi-passive monthly income. Do you see? What they would do, they would come in. When the dudes would come in, come down the hallways, they got they they got their mattress on their shoulder, and they got <clears throat> they property, you know you probably come in what they call laundry bags. You all your little property you can't travel but with two laundry bags. Yeah. And um, boom, they got their two laundry bags, and they coming on down. So when they as soon as they come through the door, they looking. You got two tiers up down on the left, 
up down in the middle. I mean, up, up down on the left, then up down, then you got some stairs, then you got up down going across this backside on the left and on the right like that. Then you got a big day room in the middle, shower downstairs and all that anyway. So here it is. These dudes were so bold. When the little white boys would come in, they'd run over there and grab their stuff from them. Grab the mattresses and um or either grab their property and tell, oh, I got your help. Come on, come on, I know where you're going. Cause they already know what sale they're going to. Yo. But they ain't finna Yo, bro. That's what I just said that in my previous video. Yo. Every motherfucker Pardon me for cursing, bro. Every person that I know, like every friend that I know that have been to prison has said, do not accept favors from anybody. Do not accept favors from anybody. Nigga try to borrow something. Well, not even borrow. What, a nigga try to lend you something. You feel me, motherfucker? Try, oh, yo, yo, I got, I put some money. I tell my people to put some money on your books for you if you just stand the third. Oh, yo, here you go. Let me, I'll give you some soup. You feel me? I, I'll throw you some ramen noodles or whatever. Do not, bro, because that's a setup. That's a setup. They owned you after that. Damn, niggas is coming in. Yeah, I'm going to help you with your stuff. They Sorry. take them to the cell where they supposed to go. They finna take them to whatever cell they want to take them to, so they can just do whatever they want to do. You know what I'm saying? On the and first day, with, with, you know, would go for it. They actually follow their property, or you know, sometimes they they book. Sometimes, man, what you doing? Man, get my stuff. Get my stuff. Something, you know, what I'm saying, and it just wouldn't happen. They wouldn't follow that cell. They go into their cell. And dudes had to follow them to that scene. Man, I've seen some crazy stuff, man. I'm talking about wow. On the first now, day, they son? They stuff to that cell that the dude was taking them to. They seen a bad day. As soon as they get up in the cell and the door closed, they finna get beat down. They gonna go in as Todd and uh, come out as Todd Alina. Natasha. Whatever, <laughs> you know? So, boom. This one incident, this one dude, this one, the, the notorious, but I'm, I'm gonna call him, um, Robin I'm gonna Hood. call him Booty Bob. This dude, Booty Bob. I'm gonna call the dude. I ain't gonna say his real name. Robin Hood. Yeah, he's still on white boy Booty. booty. He was the, he was the worst one in the whole prison. It, the whole prison knew about him. Police knew about him. Everything. Booty Bob didn't play. Booty Bob, big old black dude, man. Booty Bob was about about six two. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he black as the ace of spades. He black as the devil's heart. Um, <laughs> he been on that iron pile. Cut up. You know what I'm saying? And he, he wasn't no punk. Booty Bob wasn't no punk now. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you have to go down through there with him. You have to go down through there with him. But now, Booty Bob wasn't finna get into it with no regular dudes about nothing but one thing. If you go to mess it with Booty Bob's boys, then all the, all, all the little sissy dudes he didn't gathered up. He, he had about four of them. They, 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 walked, they would walk to the child together. He'd be in the front. And they be walking right in back of him like little ducks. Quack, 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 quack. They sat all of them sat at the table. Yo, oh, nah, sat, no way. They sit down. They sit down. Um, they all shower together. When when Booty Bob get in the shower, all four of his boys get in the shower too. They all had to shower together. Booty Bob making sure wasn't no other uh, so called real men in the shower with him. Couldn't get in the shower with him. So bang. They go, they, that's how it was. And Booty Bob, boy, he kill me. You had, you had to kill him. He'll kill you about one of them. He'll kill you about one of them. Them boys know, don't talk to nobody, don't come out themselves. None of that. They wouldn't do none of that. Booty Bob had a cold program going on. He was a, he was a jailhouse pimp for real. But hell no. Nah, time dog. goes on, man. Time goes on. Booty Bob pulled this. Bro, time out, bro. It's a lot. I'm sorry, but. It's a lot. You know what I be I be wondering some because sometimes I be wanting to ask niggas. You feel me? I got a friend that did twenty years. I got a friend that was in and out from since we was like fifteen. You feel me? So he probably done did a good twelve years 
You feel me? All together, he probably done did a good 12, 13 years. Then I got another one that got locked up when we was like 16 for like shooting. He shot up outside of a club and he ended up shooting a girl in the face. And I think he's, he's hit up a few more other people. Like he recently got out too. Like I think he got out like four years ago. But look, I be wanting to ask niggas like, yo, bro, like, you know, ain't nobody gonna tell you if they got raped in jail, bro. And it be weird. Like I be like, all, right, all y'all niggas come out and everybody mad, tough and shit. But like, what was really going on? You feel me? Like, what, what kind of stories you withholding, bro? You feel me? Like that's that's how I be looking at it. Like, yo, what really been going on, though? You feel me? I don't, cause, Nick, I mean, the one thing I'll tell you though, just how OG, OG been locked up and he probably, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look through the rest of his content, just how OG been locked up and he probably giving you like solid advice and shit like that, bro. Like, some, some niggas has been locked up in prison, they give you solid ass advice. You feel me? And then there's some that just be fronting. So I don't know. A lot of my friends give me solid advice, but I don't know how many of them, you know what I'm saying, might have had a run in with, with uh, a booty bandit. It's not one day. Or if any of them were booty bandits. That's another thing. <laughs> On the know. chain coming in, chain coming in. And um, at this time, we were sleeping three to a cell. Yeah, they used to have a three to one cell. I'm talking about bump, bump. They um, they put a whole nother bed in the cell, welded it up. I'm talking about you get up there, man. Your nose and chest dang they're touching the ceiling, man. It was crazy, oh, but anyway, foul. um, they put they put this one little white dude in the cell with another white dude. So it, it was it was cool for about two, three, yeah, I'd say about four days, five, six days. But now, unbeknownst to everybody else, Booty Bob had been on. This new little white dude that came in, he had been jugging at him, talking to him, you know what I'm saying, propositioning him, doing all type of stuff. But didn't nobody know, you know what I'm saying? There wasn't nobody really, you know, tripping on. At least I didn't know. Somebody else might have known. I, you know, I, I didn't know. But anyway, so the white dudes had been telling him, no, nah, man, stop. Because the, the, the other white dude that was in the cell with the other white, I'm going to say white dude number one and white dude number two. Now, white dude number one was all had already been living in that cell. Booty Bob had been trying to get it, white dude number one, for the longest. White dude number one kept telling him, man, no, uh-uh, no, uh-uh, no, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Okay, so now here it is. White dude number they, two when the come dude, When the white dude number two come in, little young dude, Booty Bob couldn't, he was beside himself. He was at it, boy, he, he couldn't, oh, man, I guess, you know what I'm saying, he was sweating bullets. He would, you know, get all from honey buns and all from stuff to eat and <laughs> try to talk to him. And he kept propositioning them and they kept turning them down, telling them, man, stop. Leave us alone. We ain't like that. Man, stop. Leave us alone. We ain't like that. But now Booty Bob didn't want to hit it. Booty Bob wasn't trying to hit that. All Booty Bob know is that he wanted to get it then. So now it wasn't up with them two in the cell for about two weeks. Now all two weeks, Booty Bob had been at him, been at him, been at him. So now ass. here it is, another white dude had got out of lockup, and they put they put white dude this white dude I'm gonna call him white dude number, number three. three. Let's just get they it. Put white dude number three in the cell with white dude number one and white dude number two. Okay. Okay. So now boom, here it is. You got white dude one, two, and three. Mm-hmm. Booty Bob, he he keyed in on all three of them. He wanted, he, Big Booty Bob wanted to have an orgy or something like that. I don't know if I'm a sick individual. I'm but sorry, now, bro. This he is... wanted to go down through there with all three of them. So I guess white dude number one and white dude number two had told white dude number three about Booty Bob. They pressing him, pressing white him. White dude number now, three ain't with none out, of that. Uh, white boy number three was a killer. A killer, that, I knew it. Right. Booty Bob didn't know. Did Booty Bob, he didn't look, he didn't look like no killer. He looked at just like white boy one and white boy two. And all three of them looked like goof troops. You know what I'm saying? Pee Wee Hermans. But white boy number three had a mental problem. Oh, shit. He had a mental problem. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, Booty Bob had a mental problem, too. But now, 
white boy number three, mental problem was volatile. Mm. So I guess you know white boy one, white boy two told white mm. boy three about volatile. That's how you like. Oh, I guess he talked him, pumped him up. I guess you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> and today, look, we finna we finna do something about this cat right here. We ain't going for it. We ain't not going for it. It gotta stop. Get to the killing part, folks. I want to hear. Okay, boom. Man, that sound bad. That sound really bad. <laughs> I want to hear this. Um, from what I, you know, boom. White boy three, get it. White boy one. He tell white boy one, man, this Friday on the late night, you go ahead and start holding a conversation with Booty Bob. <clears throat> make Booty make Booty Bob think you like him. We gonna get Booty Bob in the cell. Now at this time. You know, we locked down at 10 o'clock. Regular, regular lockdown was 10 o'clock. On the weekends, Fridays and Saturdays, we locked down at 2 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? We pretty much could run around, do whatever we want to do all night long. Um, the, the security was so lax, sometimes they wouldn't even lock down till break, you know, till breakfast. And probably wouldn't even do it then. The door stayed popped open, whatever. You can do you can do what you want to, man. It's supposed to be a maximum security prison too, man, in Alabama. But anyway... Make a long story short, they tricked Booty Bob in the cell. Mm -hmm. And um, this it was after lockdown. Didn't nobody really know what was going on. Didn't nobody really know what was going on. I guess they, you know, told Booty Bob they was going to do whatever they was going to do with him. And, you know, all three of them wanted him or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But now, Booty Bob took his stupid butt on up in the cell with one, two, and three. Just right? like a horny nigga, So, bing. Didn't nobody hear nothing about Thinking it. Thinking with his ding No. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no hollering. It wasn't no screaming. It wasn't no nothing. Didn't nobody know. Um, when the, when they when they racked the doors for breakfast, we locked down. We locked it. We locked down at two. They locked. They racked. They uh, run. They run breakfast about three o'clock. So um, when they racked it, when they racked the doors for breakfast, <coughs> everybody went to breakfast and came back. Didn't know nothing, still didn't know nothing, still didn't see nothing, none of that. The police came around, to, they the ones come and lock the doors after breakfast. When they come back to lock the doors, mm -hmm. we our word stressed was a code. Oh, oh. You heard the police hollering on his walkie-talkie. Uh, cold red, whoop, 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 block, whoop, 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 block. Come now, 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 now. <laughs> So here come the here come the little goon squad like police running. Booty Bob stretched out. They run up in the block till everybody get back, get back, get back. They shoot up the stairs and they go to white boy one, two, and three cell. It was horrible, y'all. It was horrible. What they do? Man, they had tricked Booty Bob in the cell and killed him. They killed they killed Booty Bob. They had literally took their time killing him. Um, they they had um they had took a knife and they had literally cut Booty Bob's head off. <gasps> they cut they cut Booty Bob's head off, man. They had opened Booty Bob's stomach up and pulled all his intestines out. They had dug his eyes up out his head. They dug his eyeballs up out Booty Bob's head Get the and had his eyeballs in a cup. They had took his blood and wrote devil worshiping stuff all on the walls of the cell. Just wrote all kinds of satanic stuff on the wall. They had his they had his guts strewn all over the floor. Everywhere. Oh my Black god! Blood was everywhere. Oh my it, god! It, it, was, it was bad, man. What it was the bad. They did they did booty Bob bad. They cut it. They cut his you know they cut his genitals off. I thought that's what that was the they first thing they ever did. Sitting in the sink. Boom. They all three of them was covered in, all three of them was covered in blood. Like uh they was like they was little puppies playing in the mud. They did, man, they did booty bob bad. Kill booty bob dirt dog dead. You know what I'm saying? Now when I say they cut booty bob's head off, it wasn't completely severed, but it was it was all the way gone. It was it wasn't nothing but hanging on but the bone. They cut it. They cut, split his throat wide. Oh, everything, man. Everything. Cut it. Oh, wasn't nothing in it, man. 
Man, Tess, like I say, and Tess is gone everywhere. They did booty bar bad, y'all. Hey, yo. <laughs> Woo. Hey, yo. Man, uh, hey, you tell that. Man, look, hey. Hey, Woo. yo. Hey, booty yo. Let his, let his unnatural urges get him that day. And they dealt with booty bobs behind. <laughs> man, man, them white boys probably still on death row right now. Today. Yeah, they got Yeah, they still. Matter of fact, yeah, they still on death row. Oh, they, yeah. they got death row for that. Man, I had never. Now that's the worst. That's the most heinous, <clears throat> worst killing I have ever seen. In a, whether it was in Alabama or California state prison, they did booty bob bad, y'all, man. Man, anyway, like I say, uh. Some stuff just don't pay. Some stuff don't pay, y'all. Oh. Shit. Oh. Oh, snap. Nigga, what the f... I don't really got no... I don't really got no words for that, bro. That kind of... That kind of threw me off. But I would say this, man. Like, I'm... Petrified again, locked up, my nigga. Cause I feel as though I'm not gonna get out. Cause I'm gonna have to do something to to make sure like niggas don't don't fuck with me. Cause I'm already short, so it's kind of it's one of them situations where it's like, man, I'm already short. I already know like I. But at the same time though, like folks I spoke to, like my man's in them that's locked up was like, yo, a lot of them dudes that call shots in prison, they don't be that big. Yeah, which is crazy. Niggas be like, yo, a lot of the shot callers when I was locked up, nigga, them niggas, they not that big. Niggas like your height. Probably a little bit taller. Which I, I found to be quite interesting, but son, I just feel as though if I get locked up, son, yeah. Like, I'm not getting out. So I do my best not to not to not to you feel me? I don't want no problems. I don't want no smoke. I don't want none of that. And I feel as though, like, yo, the moment you try to come at me on some gay shit, bro, I'm cutting, I'm cutting your dick off. I'm cutting your shit off. It's over with, bro. I just can't. I'm... All right, let me stop. <laughs> this is the video, bro. I'ma highlight y'all.